There is nothing wrong with aspiring to live a luxurious, rich life. And in this video, I'm going to break down four essential steps from Remy to say these I will teach you to be rich that will guide you towards achieving just that. So let's dive in. When it comes to living a rich life, the first step is understanding what wealth truly means to you. Is it only about having a substantial bank account and a garage full of luxury cars? Or does it encompass creating a life filled with rich experiences, choices, and fulfillment? Well, according to Remy Tsaiti's Living a Rich Life is about having the freedom to make choices that bring you joy and happiness. So this will vary a lot. For some, it might mean spending a significant part of the year living on a sailboat or engaging in extreme adventure sports like mountain biking through the trails of New Zealand or operating a small, charming bed and breakfast in a picturesque location. For others, it is simply the ability to spend more time with their loved ones. Clearly, living a rich life is a deeply personal concept so it's important for you to reflect on what your version looks like and here are some things that might help. What are your passions? Think about what excites you, what activities, hobbies, or dreams make your eyes light up. If you could create an ideal day, week, or year, what would that look like? What would you be doing? Who will be there with you? You probably want to write these down because these are clues to what makes your life feel rich and meaningful. Creating such scenarios will help you understand your preferred lifestyle, whether it is filled with adventure, tranquility, family moments, urban energy, and so on. Then contemplate what money means to you. What type of financial freedom are you aiming for? Is it living debt-free, building a substantial savings account, or having the flexibility to work less and enjoy life more? If you are a visual person, with the insights you have gathered, you can create a vision board. It is up to you to make it a physical or a digital one, but this is a nice way to include images, quotes, and symbols that represent what you're aiming for so that it will serve as a daily reminder and motivation. In the book, Sati provides a framework to help you understand where your money is going and redirect it towards creating a rich life. And an important step in this process is to create what he calls a conscious spending plan. A conscious spending plan helps you eliminate expenses that are not meaningful to you and focus on those that are. Consider this, if you were to compare your bank statements with your vision board, would your expenses align with your values and aspirations? Are the things that you have identified as important actually being prioritized in your spending? For example, let's say that after reflecting and doing this self-evaluation, you realize that one of your priorities is to live in a large, spacious house with a yard for barbecues, guest rooms for hosting friends, and so on. But to reach this goal, you need to adopt certain behaviors, including cutting expenses and eliminating things that you don't really need. Suppose you're not concerned about the type of car you drive. In that case, you would opt for a more economical car. And if your routine allows, you will share this car with your partner instead of having two vehicles parked in your garage. And by making these adjustments and eliminating other expenses, you find a gap in your budget that can be allocated to fund your dream house. Now let's extend this concept to your daily activities. Suppose that for you, living a rich life means starting each day with health and energy. This might involve prioritizing expenses related to 
wellness and fitness. Perhaps it means in investing in a gym membership, healthier food options, or even a personal trainer. It could also mean cutting back on less healthy and more costly habits like frequently dining out or expensive entertainment. By reallocating these funds towards your health and well-being, you're not just investing in your immediate enjoyment but in your long-term vitality and happiness. So the key is to assess and align your spending with your overall life goals, whether that is in a form of a dream house, optimal health or other personal aspirations because remember the more you say no to the things that don't matter the more you can say yes to the things that do and for those looking to reorganize their expenditures safety recommends following the 50 30 20 rule typically priorities fall into categories like necessities savings and wants according to this rule you would allocate 50 percent of your income to necessities such as rent groceries and utilities 30% towards your wants, which includes guilt-free spending on things that you love, and 20% towards saving for your expirations and debt repayment. Regarding this budget allocations, there is no one-size-fits-all approach. What's important is ensuring you strike a balance between planning for your future and living your rich life now. My preferred approach is allocating 70% for the present and 30 30% for the future. The easiest way to stick with your plan without stressing about it every month is to automate your finances. And I have said this many other times if you have watched my videos. With so many daily tasks, managing personal finance might not be the most exciting item on your to-do list. For sure, it's far from being the most exciting one. So if you have the opportunity to simplify your life, why not do it? Automating your finances is simpler than it may sound. And we have a graphic straight from the book that lays it out clearly. It starts with your paycheck. First, your employer deducts your 401k contributions, then the rest lands in your checking account. That's step number one. Next, from your checking account, you will set up monthly or bi-weekly transfers, some to your Roth IRA for retirement, some to a regular investment account for growing wealth and some to a savings account for those future goals. For your day-to-day -day expenses, SATI is a huge advocate for charging most of your regular bills to your credit card because it not only simplifies tracking your expenses, but it also lets you capitalize on credit card perks and rewards. To streamline this process and avoid accumulating debt, you can set up your card to automatically pay off the full balance each month. Meanwhile, for any bills that don't accept credit cards, you can arrange for them to be paid directly from your checking account through automatic deductions. And at the end of this cascade, what remains in your checking account is yours to enjoy. This is a summary of what an effective automation system looks like, and the book goes into details on how you can tailor this system to synchronize with your financial rhythm, tweaking it to align perfectly with your lifestyle. However, automating your finances and relying heavily on a credit card for most bills can become a double-edged sword if you neglect the other steps and lack a conscious spending plan. Why is this important? important. Without a plan, you might lose track of your available funds for guilt-free spending, or you could exceed your budget and find yourself short on money. This is risky if you have a history of struggling with credit card discipline, for example. So in these situations, a more hands-on approach is better to help you create financial awareness. And once you regain control of your financial behavior, then you can use automation to support your goals.
the fourth step in creating a rich life it's all about optimizing your financial growth and Sati provides a wealth of strategies for this a key area is exploring ways to increase your income however to see results you need a shift in thinking for instance, we know that you have to earn more, but earning more isn't just about working harder. It's about working smarter. You could also ask for a raise, but just asking for a raise isn't merely about demanding more money. It's about demonstrating your value and contributions to your employer. You could also start a side hustle, but starting a side hustle extends beyond just earning extra cash. It's about leveraging your passions and skills in a financially rewarding way. But developing skills to make yourself more marketable isn't only about adding credentials to your resume. It's about staying relevant and competitive in an ever-changing job market. Speaking about skills, a powerful skill to master is negotiation. The author emphasizes the importance of learning how to negotiate effectively and use conversation starters to your advantage in financial discussions. In fact, the book even includes scripts to help you negotiate better rates on credit cards, bank fees, and other recurring payments like cable, cell phone, and insurance. And as a Side note, I recently read Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, a former FBI negotiator, and I highly recommend it if you are interested in diving deeper into this topic. He also gave a TED Talk, which is available on YouTube, so if you want, you can watch it for free. Sati also guides readers on the importance of investing in low-cost index funds, and this strategy is pretty straightforward. These funds are designed to track the performance of a market index and are known for their lower fees compared to actively managed funds. The philosophy here is that over time, attempting to beat the market through active trading is challenging and often less profitable. So by investing in index funds, you are effectively riding the wave of the overall market's performance. So in summary, Step four is about implementing different strategies to make your money work for you in the most efficient manner. However, remember that the impact of all these strategies and knowledge from this book and any other book really depends on taking action. Many people have financial knowledge or access to financial resources but fail to act on them and as a result, their behavior and financial situation remain unchanged. True transformation only comes from applying these strategies and taking proactive steps towards your financial goals. If you have made it until the end, I would love to hear what a rich life means to you. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!